that? We're going to ask that the definition is that all the type of resources that will easily be converted to cash within an accounting cycle. So an accounting cycle, typically the definition is about 12 months, generally speaking. So unless this specific business operation is very special um, compared to others. Otherwise, usually it's a year period of time. So cash is obvious, it's already cash itself. So cash account is definitely a current asset. Accounts receivable usually represents the future cash receipts, and typically this is only a few weeks of time. So usually accounts receivable would not exceed two months. It'll be a couple of weeks, oftentimes it's just within a month, that will turn into cash. Right, so accounts receivable, the definition is future cash receipt, but really it has a very quick turnover rate. So it's a current asset. It has to be converted to cash within a year. Okay. Other definition here, supplies. Supplies is easily been used up. So this is a type of resource that only has a lifetime within a business for less than a year. So usually if it's longer than a year, then we don't classify it under supplies account. Okay, so other types of like equipment, machinery, those are what we call long-term asset, which will be shown in the second slide. Okay, supplies represents, for example, like stationery in the office, the papers, the folders. Those are the things that oftentimes will be used on a daily basis or even a monthly basis. It can easily be used up within a year. So the lifetime is very short. That's what we call the current asset. Okay, prepayments, remember prepaid expenses is a type of asset. You can be prepaying rent, prepaying insurance, and if you link this to chapter three, the adjustments we make. The reason why we make the adjustments is because oftentimes this prepayment, after a certain period of time, a part of it expires. It's no longer in force. So those also has a lifetime that typically is within a year. You prepaid insurance for six months, you prepaid rental expense for six months, then as time goes by, it expires. Those are the part that we do adjustments. So the lifetime for prepaid expenses oftentimes is within a year as well. And so we consider this as current assets, meaning if we prepay $3,000 for the next three months of a certain benefit, it will be listed in the current asset section. You know, inventory, we'll be talking about this account a lot more in Chapter 5 and 6. So here you just have to know that it's part of current asset. So basically it represents the product, the merchandise itself. So anything that you see in the retail stores, all the different types of products are considered inventory. Okay, inventory is a general category representing all the products specifically for merchandising operations for the purpose of getting revenue. Okay, so anything that you can see in the physical store for customer to purchase, the value there is considered inventory. That's used for merchandising operations. In the first four chapters, we talked a lot about service revenue. A lot of those companies really don't have inventory. They provide a type of knowledge, expertise. The, really, um, the thing that turns into service revenue is the time, the knowledge. But for other types of business who could be selling certain types of products, then this is the value of their asset, inventory. Okay, so long-term assets has the opposite definition. Anything